Taylor Swift's 11th studio album, The Tortured Poets Department, came out yesterday, and along with that, we also got a music video for the lead single, Fortnite, featuring Post Malone. And of course, with every single Taylor Swift music video, there is so many Easter eggs hinting at different references throughout the album, throughout her past career, throughout her relationship with Joe Alwyn, and what the next re-recording might be. Today, let's run through all the Easter eggs I could find in the Fortnite music video. But before we go any further, please make sure that you've clicked that red subscribe button down below and have your notifications turned on. So the first thing is, this video is 4 minutes and 9 seconds long. Of course, 4 plus 9 equals 13, Taylor Swift's lucky number. Now the entire video is in black and white, and we know the colour scheme of this era is white. We've seen it a lot of times from the fact that she uses a white heart in her Instagram bio when describing the album, and the fact that she was wearing white when she announced the album. Now the whole video gives very much old time creepy horror experimentation vibes, kind of like Frankenstein and reminds me very much of the new film Poor Things, which of course won loads of Oscars and starred Emma Stone, who we know Taylor Swift is very close with, and in her Speak Now vault track, When Emma Falls in Love, that song is all about Emma Stone. Now, Taylor Swift is dressed like the actress Clara Bow in this music video, which is a track title on this new album, and the white dress that she is in kind of looks like the dress that she wore at the Grammys when she announced the album, and this white dress, as we say, also relates to the colour of this album and era and also could represent a bride. We know kind of the theories behind the reason why Joe and Taylor might have split is because Taylor wanted to get married and we've seen loads of imagery of marriage such as in Champagne Problems, in Paper Rings, in the I Bet You Think About Me music video and the fact that Joe didn't want to get married and that's probably the reason why they ended up breaking up. We also see her wear a clock necklace which of course relates to Midnight's and the fact that we got the anthology at 2 a.m. from all those different clocks that we'd seen throughout the teaser video and we've also seen this clock necklace from her outfit at the Grammys when she did announce the Tortured Poets department. There is also a garter on her leg which relates to the garter she wears for the Midnight's Era in the Era's tour and she of course has 13 pins in her hair which is her favourite number. Now when it zooms out and we get to see this weird distorted gravity like room we can see a bathtub on the ceiling now there's a lot of things that this potentially could be it could represent the reputation bathtub which of course could suggest that reputation is the next re-recording and joe and taylor's relationship first started during the reputation era and this is of course the last era showing the end of their relationship there are also theories that taylor swift is going to be in the brand new deadpool versus wolverine film and on on Halloween, she was dressed as Deadpool and photographed in a bathtub. Could that mean that this is a reference to her potentially being in that film? Now, during the scene, we see her get a Miracle Move On drug, which of course relates to the lyrics Miracle Move On from the song. Now, the drugs have several different numbers on it. The first numbers are 121389, which is Taylor's date of birth, the 13th of December 1989. And the next set of numbers are 041924, which is the 19th of April 2024, the day of the Tortured Poets Department release date. Next, we move into a brand new room where where she changes her outfit into a very black outfit, very 1830s style, which she thinks about in I Hate It Here. And it looks very much like the dresses in the My Tears Ricochet part of the Eras tour. Also at the Grammys, Lana Del Rey, who celebrated the Midnight's album of the year with Taylor, was dressed in black and kind of looked like this. So was in on the whole Easter eggs with Taylor because in this photo, you can see Taylor in white, like we saw at the beginning of the music video, and Lana in black, like we're seeing now in the music video. Then we get the whole situation where Taylor Swift and Post Malone are both writing on two different typewriters, of course, two representing 2AM for the anthology. Now, the typewriters relates to the title track of the album, The Torch Poets Department, with the lyrics, You Left Your Typewriter at My Apartment. Now, that track is about her short-lived rebound relationship with Matty Healy after breaking up with Joe Alwyn. We also saw typewriters and this sterilized hallway setting in the Tortured Poets Department teaser trailer that we got where she left from the Midnight's room and entered the Tortured Poets Department's room. Now she is typing the lyrics, I love you, it's ruining my life, which are of course lyrics from 
this album. And interestingly, there is a blank space between the word ruining to represent the song Blank Space, where Taylor now has a blank space of her list of exes where she can now write Joe's name. The typewriter also has no number one, which is a reference to Taylor removing the one from the folklore set of the Eras tour after her and Joe broke up. Now next to Post Malone is a fountain pen, which relates to the three types of songs Swift writes about. Now she categorizes her songs into quill pen songs, fountain pen songs, and glitter pen songs. However, in the teaser trailer for the Tortured Poets Department, we saw her leave the glitter pens in the Midnight's room, and the Tortured Poets Department room only had fountain and quill pens, and that is because there is no glitter pen songs on this album. Now, the colours that come out of the typewriters also represent Taylor Swift's love for Joe. In Illicit Affairs, she sings, You showed me colours I can't see with anyone else. Now, this music video is, of course, in black and white, and these are the only colours we can see. And we know blue represents when Taylor loses her love, like she sings in red, and we know golden is how she originally described her love for Joe in the final track of Lover in Daylight. We move into the next scene where we see Taylor is reading a book that says Us, representing the story of Us relating to a track on Speak Now Taylor's version. Now the papers begin flying around Taylor and Post Malone, and it's very reminiscent of the papers flying around in the Story of Us music video. Taylor and Post Malone are also kind of dressed in similar clothes, kind of looking like twins, which relates to the song Down Bad from this album. Now it zooms out to see they're lying on paper making an outline of Swift's face, which is the same outline from the Style music video. We then move into the next scene where it's sort of like an operational scene, and we see a black dog in the operation room relating to the song Black Dog from the anthology, but also the version of the album, The Tortured Poets Department, The Black dog edition which she announced on tour and the black dog is also a bar in London that she used to go to with Joe Alwyn. Now the two scientists who are working on Taylor Swift here are played by Ethan Hawke and Josh Charles who are both from the Dead Poets Society which of course heavily inspired the naming of this album. The scientists are also called Dr Anderson and Dr Overstreet which just so happens to be their characters last names in the Dead Poets Society. On the it writes out the same lyrics that were on the typewriter that we saw before, I love you, it's ruining my life, and the machine also has a The Tortured Poets Department logo on it. Now in the final scene, Taylor sits alone in the rain to contrast the last time she was alone in the rain in the Delicate music video, which was of course all about her love for Joe Alwyn at the start of the relationship, and now she ends the relationship here, also in the rain, but in a very different context and setting. Now it could also be a reference to the song Clean, where she states she can finally move on on after the rain has poured down and she becomes finally clean. When the files are set alight and thrown around the room, it could be a reference to the lyrics from Dear Reader, the final track of Midnight's, burn all the files, desert all your past lives. And the burning files also look like the vault scene from the Look What You Made Me Do music video, which could suggest that Reputation Taylor's version is definitely coming next. And finally, when Taylor Swift holds Post Malone's hand, she has a The Tortured Poets Department bracelet on her wrist, which of course you can buy at the Taylor Swift shop. That is so many Easter eggs in such a short little music video, and I just absolutely love it. What did you guys think of all these Easter eggs? Do you think all of these little references do relate to what I've said to them? And did you find any more Easter eggs? Because we know there'll be hundreds of Easter eggs that we have still missed that we probably won't be able to see for years to come. And then we'll look back and we'll see, wow, how did we miss that? Let me know any other Easter eggs you can find down below. And what do you think of the Tortured Poets Department? I personally really love the album and I can't wait to keep on listening to it. And I hope we get more music videos. I reckon the next music video will probably be Florida because that's another collab. But as always, guys, we've been here on Creative Series. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later. Thank you.